Hi and welcome to this new tutorial from Udero Step by Step. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the two step checkout on the Super Checker. So, we're going to go to my same funnel, which will be funnel number one. Where do I have the pages that I have? Okay. For this example, and for, and for in order to use the two step checkout and the super checkout, we have to create the product page and the two step checkout. Okay. And we're going to go to the super checkout too. Okay. We're going to go to our products and going to choose the product number one for this example. We're going to go to edit. And pricing um, design, and here we have the two step checkout and the alternative two step checkout. What's the difference? If you go to preview and if we go to the other one and hit the preview, we'll have here the two pages that we have for this example. The alternative two step checkout is basically this one, and the two step checkout is this one. Okay, it's basically you can see that the the alternative and the appearance. Okay, here it says name, email, the country, uh, personal or business. Okay, and this is the actual difference. Okay, there are just a small difference between them, but um, this is up to you how you want to use. It, okay, so we're gonna hit the, the details, and here is the second page that we have to create because because the other page, all right, the other page that um, we have visible. Is a product page okay this is a product page we need to create a second page for the two-step checkout for the two-step they're gonna enter the details okay personal information and the two-step in the second step they're gonna put the credit card information or the payment information okay this is basically the example put the details and this is the other example you can see that I have credit card, Puxaura, and PayPal. Okay, this is the main difference between them. This is the alternative. This is the two-step, and this is the alternative. You can see basically the difference between them. Okay, we're gonna go with the alternative two-step checkout because uh, I really like the um, the appearance of it. So we're gonna close all of this and make sure to select the alternative two-step checkout. We're gonna select the thank you page that we already created, the page where I'm gonna sell the product. Okay. This page will be, I'm sorry, this page will be the um, product page, which it will be my exclusive offer page, and this two step page, which I don't have created yet. I'm gonna go ahead and create my new page, and it will be my two step checkout. The name that I wanna put uh, to identify the page and the title page will be two step, okay? Description, it will be none. And it will be a blind page so I can create it from scratch. Okay, so I have my two step checkout and my exclusive offer page. I'm gonna use the exclusive offer page as my first step and my two step checkout for the two step. So I'm gonna select here the two step, but you can see that I don't have none yet. So I'm gonna close it. Then I'm gonna go and, and wait uh, a bit so until it appears on my, on my super checkout. And meanwhile, I'm gonna create my design on. My, uh, on my second page, okay. I'm gonna create a panel, okay. It can be, I, I can also use this, like, um, um, you are almost there, okay. Something like that. I'm gonna increase the size of my panel, okay, because I'm gonna need to create a, an iframe element. So we're gonna go to add, then go to elements, and go drop and drop and drag and drop an iframe element okay because I need to place an um I need to place a, a frame here my general settings I'm gonna place here the iframe um iframe uh, code that is gonna be provided by super checkout so we're gonna go to the super checkout go to our products okay so I have to make sure that we have to create the the, the first step and the second step page before going into the super checkout, so we have to uh, already create these pages, okay? Already create everything here in order to have this working, in order to have all configured before going into super checkout, okay? So I'm gonna use my exclusive offer has the uh, first step, but you can also create a one step check uh, offer page if you want to, okay? If you, you don't have uh, this page already created, 
but since I already have curated this page, I'm gonna use it for my one-step checkout. Okay, gonna go to edit, then go to design. Okay, make sure to select the alternative two-step checkout. Okay, this will be my exclusive offer where I'm gonna sell my product, and the two-step will be my two-step page. And I'm gonna click on save. That's it. We already configured my product that it will be an alternative to a step. Okay. Then I go to links and you will have like two iframe code here. We're gonna go into my exclusive offer. Okay. We're gonna drag uh, and drop an iframe element and gonna copy this code. I'm gonna copy the, uh, to clipboard. Okay. And I'm gonna place here an iframe element. Um, iframe. Okay, and I'm gonna general settings and put here the embed doc. I'm gonna put here the code and hit apply. You can see that it will um, it will load. I can also put here a timer, a buy night, a buy now text, and I'm gonna increase the size here. Remember that this is where they're gonna add the details or the personal information. After the hit continue, they will be directed, uh, be automatically redirected to the two-step checkout automatically by the system. So we're gonna go to save and exit, and we're gonna jump into the two-step checkout page, okay? Because we need to copy this iframe code also there, okay? This is my iframe general settings. Put the code here and hit apply. This is very simple. This is very basic, okay? You can put it over here like um, all stretched out like this, or I can put it like this. Okay, I can also use full width, okay, so it will automatically um, load everything here, but I'm going to play, place it like this. You have to keep in mind that two-step will not load on the editor, okay, because you're not supposed to go into the two-step directly on the URL, okay. What I mean by this is that if we save the changes on Cheetah, okay, perfect, and we go to my Cheetah page, and I go to that specific website, you'll see that we're gonna get an error. Okay, Let's wait until this um, this propagates. Okay, and we're gonna go to our exclusive offer page, save and edit. As well um, until this propagates, but you will see um, what the problem. Okay, so you will see this error here. You will see an error, or you will see this loading screen like um, it's never gonna load every anything because you're not supposed to go straight to the two-step checkout. You're supposed to go to the exclusive offer where you leave the details first, and then you're gonna jump into the two-step checkout. So let's do the test. So let's go to save and exit, and let's go into my exclusive offer because this is my one step. I'm supposed to go to this. Step first, they're gonna put my password here, phone number, and hit continue. You'll see that I want it to be uh, forwarded into my two step and it's gonna load. You'll see here it's not gonna load because I'm going directly to the two step. I have to go directly to my one step first, then I'm gonna jump into my two step. So, this is the look, this is how it looks when you go from exclusive offer or from the one step to the two step. So this is basically how you work on the two step using Super Checkout. This is very simple. You have to go into my to the exclusive offer to the product sale, where you're gonna sell the product, put an iframe, add the one step iframe there. Just go to the two step, um, add an iframe there too, and you will have the two step working on your website. And for watching, and don't subscribe, don't forget to subscribe.